in the last video, the first of the five fears about public speaking, you heard all about uh, what do you do if you uh, have a shortness of breath or shaky voice. Today, you're going to learn what to do to avoid forgetting what you plan to say. Number one, the best thing you can do is to practice, rehearse over and over again. Uh, when you first practice a script, you're trying to internalize it, it's going to be very uncomfortable. But the more you do it, the more you get comfortable with that flow, the easier it will come out of you, and the words will just magically show up when you need them. That doesn't happen without practice, though. The second point to remember, you heard this in the last tip, people don't know what you plan to say. They know what your topic is. You've given them an overview, but again, they're not sitting there with the words in front of them. You probably will forget something. All the greatest speakers have done it. World champion speakers, Hall of Fame speakers, politicians, entertainers, they've all done it. The third point is to never memorize, internalize. What does that mean? Memorization is a word for word memory of each word you planned on saying. Internalization is getting accustomed to the flow, what's going on from point A to point B to point Z, C all the way to the end. The problem with memorization is if you forget a word in the middle of your talk in front of an audience or in front of the camera, you're gonna go off track. I've seen it happen too many times. It happened to me earlier in my career and the people aren't there for the specific words. Remember, they're gonna forget 99.5% of them, they want the feeling. If they see you panicking, or losing control because you forgot a word, that's gonna be a negative impact on them. Your fourth tip, write down on some three by five or four by six index cards, bulleted points for your script. Again, not word for word, you just want some quick bullet points, one or two words. So if you do get stuck, you can reach into your pocket, pull it out, look at the card and get back on track. I have done this for years and I can think of only two times when I needed to pull the card out and guess what? It didn't lose me any credibility points with the audience. Actually, it helped my credibility because the audience recognized that I wasn't worried about how I looked on stage. I was more concerned with giving them the information I came there to give. And the fifth point has to do with your stories. I've seen so many people try to memorize their personal stories. Don't do that. You lived the story. As long as you've rehearsed it and it's got proper structure, it's, it's getting into the conflict as, uh, fairly quickly and you're making a point, don't worry about memorization. Just go through the flow and the audience will love the story. Use these five tips and you will be much less likely to forget what you're there to say. You'll be connected with your audience because you'll be focused on them.